In this video, we're going to look at some practice questions under set theory to just simplify the sets that we've been given. So I've got a number of questions to help us understand the basic concepts on how to simplify. Then also not forgetting a part where we get to look at proving or simplifying sets that involve disjoint sets. Okay, so let's start. Express the following in their simplest form. So basically, we have a complement outside the brackets there. So we're supposed to distribute that complement. So the P complement there is going to be what? It's going to be P. So whenever you have a complement of a complement, remember the region complement means outside that given set. So now if you say outside the given set, then again you say outside of it. It is going to be the set itself. So a complement of a complement will cancel out. So a complement of P complement is just going to be P. Then we understand that from De Morgan's laws, we're able to see that the sign changes whenever you distribute a complement. So it's going to be intersection there. Then in the brackets, we have Q minus R. So Q minus R is the same as Q intersection what? R complement. Then we'll also distribute the same complement that is outside there to apply the brackets. Okay. So we've distributed that complement to the brackets, the union, and the P complement. So at this point, you can say P intersection. Again, you have to distribute that complement. So you distribute it to the Q to become Q complement. Then the intersection changes the sign and it becomes what? It becomes a union. R complement becomes R because the complement of a complement. So basically, this is the simplest form of um, that set. X union Y intersection X. So basically, this takes us to a distributive law which requires of us to multiply this by that. Of course, not really multiplying, but basically, that's a basic concept there. Yeah. So x union y. So remember when you're multiplying, so that sign is going to be in between. Then again, you have the x being multiplied with the x. So this is a distributive law that we talked about. So what do we have? So you have x union y intersection. So the union of X, X union X is just X itself. So what we have is X union Y. So let's say this is our X and that is our Y. So X union Y is basically what? It requires you to shade the entire region. That is what your union is. So now intersect that with X. So I will use a different color to shade for X. So basically, I'll shade for X. So where the two different colors are meeting basically gives us the intersection of the two sets there. So in summary, what we have is the intersection of X with X union Y. So we know that X is also part of the union of X with Y. So therefore, our simplest form is going to be, our answer is just going to be X in this case. Okay. Let's move on. For the next one, basically it's also coming from the basic idea of uh, the sets. So how do we get to understand this better? So this is also coming from distributive laws. So this time around we have M what? M intersection. So basically the simplest form of this set is basically M intersection. So it's like we add N union N complement. So this is a distributive law. So if you multiply this with that, it will give you what we have on the left. And by that, it will give you what we have on our right. So that is our distributive law. If you're having challenges understanding how we get to understand the distributive law, watch out for, you can check out our other video that shows on how to shade. Basically, you understand how to present your work under distributive laws. Okay, so we've simplified it there. So now we're trying to combine n with uh, its complement. So for us to understand that, 
Um, let me draw a Venn diagram to show an example. So let's say this is our Venn diagram, our universal set. Then in this set we have n. So let me shed n complement. n complement means the region outside what? Outside n. Then I also shed we have n and also n complement. So I've shaded n complement, then I can also shed n itself. So the union of a set with its complement basically gives you the inversal set because you are interested in both the region itself as well as the region outside. So the what we have there is what? Is the intersection. So the inversal set is what we have. So M intersection, the universal. So you can bear with me that basically any set that you have is part of a universal set. So intersection of any set with a universal set is basically just the very set. So our simplest form of that is basically M. Okay. The next part. We now have A minus A minus B. What does that mean? So this means we have A minus A minus B is the same as A intersection B complement. So we also understand that so since we are doing the same there, we are saying A minus B is the same as A intersection what? B complement. So to do away with a minus here it's going to be A intersection. Whatever is in the brackets is going to have a complement outside. Okay. That's what we've done. We've applied the same law that is applying to what is down there. Okay. Let's have some space. What do we have? So we now have A intersection. So in the brackets, if you distribute the complement, you have A complement union. So I'm distributing that complement there. So A becomes a complement. The intersection becomes a union, then the B complement complement of a complement is also going to be a B there. So we have what? We have um, our B at this point. Okay. Can you simplify it further? We can try it out. So let's try to distribute since this is um let's try to apply our distributive law. We see what we're going to have. So this multiply by that we have A intersection A complement. So maintain the union in between. Then again you have the A intersection what? A intersection B. Okay. So A intersection A complement. So what is the intersection between a set and its complement? So unlike the unlike the union which tells us to say what you're going to have is a universal set for the intersection if you have set A set A is basically going to be what is inside there then its A complement its complement is going to be region outside so these two things don't intersect so the intersection of the set and its complement is an empty set so we have an empty set being unionized with A intersection what? A intersection B. And the union of any set with an empty set is that set. So what you have is A intersection what? B. Okay. We have another set there. So this time around what do we have? We have A intersection B complement union A minus minus B. So I'll start first of all by distributing the, the complement that, that we have there. So this part which is having a complement, a complement will cancel out. So it just be A intersection what? B. The sign there will become the intersection. Then in the brackets we have A minus B. Of course, we understand that A minus B is the same as A intersection B complement. So there's a complement that we are distributing there. So we have a complement coming from outside there. So at this point, we maintain what we have on our left. 
then we can distribute the complement to what is inside the brackets. So A, this A is going to be a complement, the sign will become union, then again we have um, B. Okay. So what do we have so far? So we have A intersection B, intersection A complement, union of B. Okay, so how do we get to simplify it? Are we able to simplify it further beyond that? Okay, are we able to simplify it more? So basically what we can do is retry to shed with what we're going to have. So what we have basically is we have um, A and B. So let's say this is our A, that is our B. So the intersection here is just that region. That is our A intersection B. Then for uh, for the other part where we have a complement unionized with B, so that requires us to let's say that is our A, and that is our B. So assuming that is the case that we have, let me. So if this is our A and that is our B, what are we going to have? There? So our A complement basically is the region outside your A. So this is your A what? That is your A complement. So unionize it with B, meaning that B is also going to be part of what? It's also going to be part of a set. So that would include this region as well. So we've shaded it. Now we are interested in the intersection of these guys, in the intersection of the two regions. What I've shaded on the left and what I've shaded on the right. So you you agree with me that basically what turns out to be the common region is what? Is this part. So the common region is basically just this part. This part is common, which is A intersection of what? A intersection with B. So that becomes our solution. So we have a intersection B as what? As our solution in this case. Okay, so for the other part, we have B complement intersection A union B. So from our distributive law, this is going to be B complement being intersected with A, then union, again B complement intersection B. So we just from saying that, so maintain that we have B complement intersection A. So just from saying that, an intersection between a set and its complement is an empty set. Okay. So we have, therefore, we have A intersection B complement as our what? As our solution, which is also A minus B. Well, that's fine. Or we can just say B complement intersection A. That is our solution. Okay. Going back to the last question, which involves uh, disjoint sets. So I have to emphasize and make a point to say that. Basically, talking about disjoint sets, when you say two sets, A and B are disjoint, it means that these sets do not intersect they do not intersect. So we're going to be working around that to help us simplify or come up with solutions to these sets that we have. So uh, let me draw them down here. So we have our A and what? And our B. So these are disjoint sets. So now looking at the first part of the question which says A intersection with B. So, is there any region where these guys are intersecting? Absolutely not. So, therefore, A intersection B, there is no intersection, so it's an empty set. We've answered the first part of the question. Then, A minus B. So, we know that A minus B basically is what? Is A intersection B. Or in other terms, A minus B is A without B. Okay, so unlike in a case where you have an intersection where you get to say 
you have your a and your b then you say for your a minus b you only shade this region without you ex exclude the intersection only part of a is shaded now in this time around we're going to shade the entire part of a why because all of it is without b so therefore a minus b is the same as what is the same as e. just a because the entire part of a is without b okay that's how it's different from a set with an intersection then what do we have for the other question so for the other question we have a complement intersection b i can even erase this so that we have enough space there so we have a complement intersection b so what does it mean when you say a complement so a complement means you are interested in the region outside what outside a so i'll shade so this is the entire region outside what outside a so then we are trying to intersect it with b we are trying to intersect it with what we are trying to intersect it with b so um, i've shaded a complement then we are trying to intersect it with with b so basically you are going to see that if you try to intersect it with b it's what we're going to have is just b because if i shade my b there the point of intersection is that set b itself so a complement intersection b of course we do understand that it's the same as b intersection what a complement which is the same as b minus a so basically what we're going to have is also just a b as a solution then for the other part we have b complements so we have b complements union a so this is our b and that is our a well let me start with a say this is our a then that is our b so for a b complement it means that we're interested in the region outside what outside outside b for b complement so for b complement it's basically this entire region outside b then for a complement i can even use a different color it's a region outside what outside there as well so at the end of the day since we have union there you're going to realize that basically the entire universal set is going to be shaded because these guys are what are disjoint sets so what we have is eh, just a universal set as our solution for the other part we have a union b minus b a union b minus b so basically when you talk about a union b it basically means that you are combining set a with b which will require you to shade the entire what? the entire region this region so that is our a union b now we are saying minus b so you exclude b so the moment you just remove b what is going to remain as your answer is what is going to be your a so this marks the end of uh, this video i just hope that now you are able to um, apply or simplify different sets that you're given and you're able to interpret what applies so thank you very much for taking time and have a good day